In this video, we will go over the problem that Geo solves, setting it up on your local machine, and a quick demo. Let's dive in. Geo is a GitLab add-on that creates a complete readable clone of your GitLab server. If you have two or more teams geographically spread out, fetching large repositories will take a long time for whichever team is not close to your GitLab instance. Your Geo instance can be used for cloning and fetching large projects and reading any data. This will make working with large repositories over long distances much faster. Let's look at a real life problem in action. I've got this project here. It's only 460 megabytes, but I am simulating a very, very slow connection to it, uh, dial-up speed. So your internet might be faster, but your projects also might be much, much bigger. So if I try to clone this, let's see. When I try to clone here, you see that I'm only downloading about five or six kilobytes per second. And it is just going to take a very, very long time. At this rate, if I want to write any code on this project, I will have to start tomorrow. And forget that, I'm not waiting for that. Okay, so what we'll do instead is use a GitLab Geo clone. Let's see if I had one of those. Oh, I didn't, okay. Uh, second, I already have it set up here under secondary. Okay, so the same project here, I can clone from the secondary very fast. So there's nothing here, good. And this will just happen at local network speed. I'll clone that. 400 and something megabytes in no time. All right, it's done. Great. Hours and hours saved right there. So let's see how can we now push to it? Because if we try to push to it, it will it will not allow us. The, the secondary node is read only. So I'm here on the, the main documentation page for GitLab Geo. The first step of setting up your local machine is to clone the repo as you would normally, but clone from your secondary node like we just did. And then there's this. So you can see the remotes we have set up. It will try and fetch from the uh, secondary, but would all, it will also try and push to the secondary. And that's the only thing we need to change. We just need to change that, the push URL. So let's paste that here and get the clone URL for the project. We'll copy it here from the primary and paste it in. All right, now it will fetch from the secondary and push to the primary. And that is, everything you need to do to set up your local machine to, to, to be using Geo and push and pull as if, as if you would with any, uh, with any GitLab server. So it's very little setup and it's kind of set it and forget it. it it's just gonna work now. So let's edit a file and see what happens. So um, I'm gonna, just delete everything in this contributing.rb file and put here All right. Now let's save that. And you'll see that the push happens to the primary and it tells us right here to primary. So the push happened to the primary server. Let's go check it out. Alrighty, in files, it was this file contributing.md and see the sync happen. And yeah, I'm just being a cowboy here and pushing to the master branch. In real life situation, you would create a branch and, and do things properly. Okay, so 
on the secondary, it is already synced over to here. And so anybody in my geographical location who are pulling and cloning from this secondary will have my up-to-date code that I just pushed to the primary. And so even though my internet connection to the primary is slow, because the lines of code I write can travel over a slow internet connection without much trouble, this works seamlessly. I just want to show you what happens when somebody else pushes to the primary. Let's change this here. All right. So if somebody else makes a commit here on the primary server. Let's see how quick it comes over the secondary. Boom, very fast. So the syncing is already on the secondary. And, but you, you don't need to check that. You can just do a good pull here. And you will see that it gets pulled from the secondary. So again, I don't need to remember that where I'm pushing or where I'm pulling, I set it up once and it just works. All right, and you can see the code there that somebody else wrote. That is how GitLab Geo can save you or your team a lot of time. If you have more questions about GitLab Geo, you can get in touch with our sales team. If you want someone from our engineering team to get on a call with you and discuss your technical requirements of how GitLab Geo would fit into your team's workflow, then just let them know and they can set that up for you.